In today's video, I want to introduce you to the wonderful world of the Emerald Green Arborvita. On this driveway here or on this road, there are arborvitas lining each side of the road, giving privacy to the neighbors on each side. And it is a gorgeous example, in fact, one of the best examples I've ever seen of using the Emerald Green Arborvitas as a privacy screen or as a windscreen or as a way to mark a property line. As you can see, these emerald green here are 12, maybe 15 feet tall. That one there may be even taller than that, but these are just amazing. I could just look at these for a long time because they look so nice. And people who are looking to plant a privacy screen for their property need to consider a tree like this because they're just such amazing trees at doing this. They're solid, can't see through this at all, can't see through that at all. And when you look down this lane here, it is just a beautiful entrance to these properties. And I don't know what better screen you could use than, than this particular variety of Arborvita. And standing next to this, I'm looking at what may be some of the largest emerald greens I've ever seen. And as you can see, I don't even know what to say about them. They are just, just amazing, amazing plants. And I'm gonna show you more about these here as we work our way through this video. So stay with me for the next few minutes. Now, obviously those gorgeous emerald greens that I showed you out on the road were growing in optimal conditions, had wide open sunshine. I wouldn't doubt if they didn't have a, an annual fertilizing on them. Probably they even irrigated those some when we go through an extreme dry spell because really and truly that's about as pretty a setup of emerald greens as you're ever going to see. But that being said, I want to show you a little bit about how to grow these, how to manage these, and how to take care of these on your own. Now this emerald green that I have in my hands, just a kind of a perfect ready to sell emerald green in a trade gallon size pot, which is the standard pot that I use for 90% of what I grow, I guess. And it's a two-third gallon pot and in the nursery world they call that a trade gallon i don't know why but they do it's actually a little bit deceptive when it's got the word gallon in it but it's not truly a gallon and you can probably see that by looking at it but anyway these emerald greens are an awesome plant as i've shown you to be set in rows to define a property line or something like that but they also make great plants to stand alone and i'm going to show you some examples of that in just a minute but before i do just a little bit of information about growing these these are said to be hardy down to zone eight but the heat of zone eight may be a little much for these. So if you live in zone eight, particularly Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, south of there, maybe even South Carolina, look your zone up, you know where you live. These may not thrive in those conditions simply due to the fact that the heat can be pretty excessive and they tend to burn a little bit. So if you live in one of the hotter, more humid climate zones, particularly in the United States, you may look around your area and see if these are growing, see if they're thriving in your area. If they are, I'd say go for it. If they're not, try something besides the emerald green arborvita. The emerald green arborvita is like most plants. It doesn't do well in extreme drought. It doesn't do well in extremely wet conditions and it just needs moderate moisture. And where almost any plant's going to thrive, so too is the emerald green. So when you're planting this, you want to make sure that you don't plant it in an area that stays overly wet when it rains. If you get a good rain and it stays, you know, there's a pond there for two or three days, these are not going to do okay in a situation like that. But the reality is, is that most places aren't like that. Most of the places in your yard don't have a pond in them. So as long as you don't plant it in a swamp and you don't let it go completely dry, it's going to do just fine for you. Now, whether you're growing emerald green arborvitas in a nursery like I am, or whether you're shopping for emerald greens, if you're interested in building your own privacy screen or windrow or whatever it is that you might want to use these for, there's, there's something that you need to be aware of that it's not talked about a lot, but it makes a huge difference in the way that these look when they get mature. And I want to show you an example here. These, though from a distance, these look, these two look basically the same. There's a huge difference in them. And uh, as you come in here and look, I want you to just have a look at this plant here and you'll see if you kind of have a look at it. It's got two main stems in it. Now, you kind of a left and a right there as you're looking at it. Now, that looks innocent enough and it's okay and it'll grow an okay tree. But as that grows and that gets four, five, six, seven feet tall, what you're going to have is a plant that has, it's going to be like a tree with two trunks. And it's going to have two distinct tips coming out the top of it. And that's just not really the ideal look that you're going for 
in an emerald green arborvitae. And if you'll contrast that with this one, this one has a single stem or a single leader. This is going to grow up straight and be much more shaped like a column as it grows. And when you're looking at these, if you go to a nursery to buy these, you want to try to find the ones in there that have a single stem or a single trunk because they're going to have a much better, much more uniform shape when they are mature than one that has two or three or five stems growing from the base. I have stepped over into my neighbor's yard and they have a beautiful emerald green arborvitae on the front corner of their house. And where you normally see these planted in a row, they, there's also a, another beautiful way to use these and that's as a standalone plant, um, just like this one here is here on the front of their house. Just remember that uh, if you're planning on putting a plant like this, not to push it all the way up under the eave of your house because it will eventually grow up under your eave. And also that these plants are going to grow, these trees, these emerald green trees, are going to grow about maybe a foot and a half per year. So they're a fairly slow growing tree, but you know, as is the case with uh, many, many trees, the slower growing plants, the slower growing trees tend to be really high in quality. So there's more than one way to use the emerald green arborvitae in a landscape, whether you're using it out in the open to do a property line or to do a privacy screen, or to do it as more of a specimen like this one here. And this one's probably, oh, I'd say 10, maybe 11 feet tall. Uh, they're a versatile plant, and this one receives quite a bit of shade, and it's still a beautiful, beautiful example of an emerald green arborvitae. Here's another example of kind of a specimen type setup of, of an emerald green and when I say that I mean it's just standing alone not in a row or not in a cluster of other trees and you can see it's kind of doing a doughboy thing here growing over the edge of this privacy fence and it's a really tall tree and you can see the top of it where this is a multi-leader tree instead of being trimmed to a single leader it's got two three four or more primary stems coming out of it and it's just kind of a different look it's obviously outgrown its space but i'm sure on the other side of the fence here it's really nice just another use of the beautiful emerald green and another one of my neighbors has this emerald green and this is a beautiful single stem perfectly shaped arborvitae they may have trimmed it but certainly from the time it was young it was trained to a single leader and another example of how you can do just a single plant on the front of your house as kind of a specimen kind of a showcase. Beautiful, beautiful example again of an emerald green. So as you can see, an evergreen like the emerald green arborvitae is a very versatile plant. You've seen them used out where I showed you on the road in those lines, just what I think is just the ideal and perfect use of them or these specimen plantings on the corners of houses or you can put one out in the middle of your yard if you want that. But a lot of different ways that you can use these emerald greens. I hope this has been useful to you. Here's a couple of other videos right here that you might take a look at to learn more about backyard growing. And if you'll hit the button down below to subscribe, that would be awesome. I love all of you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.